so happy to be here and so happy to actually be after Facebook. Five billion cell phones, one billion people on Facebook, and yet we have yet to realize the development potential. So what we are about today and what USAID wants to partner with everyone in the world is to make this a more prosperous world where we can step on the earth more lightly. And that's what we're about. You know, um, President Obama, um, uh, created the first policy directive on development that we had had in this country in 50 years. He did it in September of 2010, and he said, let us imagine the conditions where aid isn't needed, and let's do it with economic growth, let's do it with game-changing innovation, and let's think about public-private partnerships in a new way. And what we're here today and what Rio Plus Social is about is to make sure that that's inclusive development and that we together are deliberate about making this a freer, more prosperous, and more inclusive world. So let me tell you about, uh, and uh, we're also excited that uh, Secretary Clinton is heading our delegation. Those of you who know her know that to the tips of her toes, she has been deeply committed to these issues uh, since she was first lady and when she lived in Arkansas. She traveled uh, extensively then, and she has an a, a abiding interest in creating a different future for girls and women. And we know that she's already committed after she leaves uh, her role as Secretary of State to do that. But for development priorities, we have found that connective technology can have an exponential effect. I told you that there were five billion cell phones. You knew that before I came up today. But maybe you didn't know that two billion of those people that have cell phones do not have a bank account. They don't have the ability to save uh, without it costing them a lot of money. They don't have the ability to buy, uh, pay, uh, buy products like microinsurance and other things for which they have a payment system. So let us imagine today what it would be like if those two billion people could use their mobile phone for mobile money and a cash register to be an entrepreneur. What an incredible exponential effect that would have on their prosperity and the kinds of solutions that we could imagine in this world. So that's what AID, that's one of our priorities. Uh, we just announced a, a global partnership with Citibank, but we will look forward over the next few months for lots of announcements. And for those of you who are excited as we are about the potential of turning every one of those mobile phones into an entrepreneur's cash register, into a bank account uh, uh, for people around the world, come talk to us. We also know that uh, there is tremendous opportunity for connective technologies in ag. We know that if we are to make this a place where we eradicate extreme poverty, where there aren't so many people going home hungry every night, that we have got to increase our yields in agriculture, and we've got to do it in a way that uh, is environmentally sensitive. We know that there's tons of best practices, and they don't come always from the experts. They come from indigenous people who know that environment better than anybody. They know what best practices are, and it's these kinds of events and these kinds of technologies that if we can figure out more easily a way to get that best knowledge, that that connection can really change and we can reduce carbon emissions, we can increase uh, agricultural yields, we can create new products for farmers around the world so that they are more resilient at times in which there isn't rain and uh, they don't have as many inputs and you and I are all part of that and we're excited. We know that these are the kinds of conversations that start massive change. As I was flying down here from uh, the US overnight, I thought to myself, you know, it was a bunch of scrappy people like you and I in the US that said to England, you know, we have a better idea. We have an idea of a freer world. We didn't quite get it right at first. It took us 100 years to give up slavery. But it was these kinds of things. Yes, we did it in town halls. We did it on horseback. But now we can connect the world as we're doing today to source those ideas and scale them. 
And one last thing I'd like to tell you about that we're excited about at USAID is we like to, we really fundamentally believe that great ideas come from all different places. So we took a model that has been known in drug discovery and in venture capital in Silicon Valley, and that is um, stage financing. We created a development innovation ventures. I encourage all of you to Google it. Bring us your ideas. We'll co-invest with you. And we'll help um, create the new kinds of solutions together that will change the world. Um, I'd also like you to know that at 11.30 tomorrow morning, we'd like to continue this conversation. We invite all the youth bloggers to come to the uh, U.S. Center to have a conversation with our Deputy Administrator, Don Steinberg, because we think that this is an incredibly important start. I was at the Y last year, and we just need to keep it going. So I appreciate you all being here today, and I hope that you will think of USAID as one that you'd like to partner with in the future. Thanks so much.